Alright, what's good everyone? Just listen to this OST for a sec. As much as I would rather just, as much as I would just keep uh, listening to that, we have to move on. So last time we watched our motive videos with our families, and everyone's all sad and depressed now. Uh, and Sayaka left, and we're supposed to go find her, but I could really care less. So let's talk to everyone else first. Uh, how far can we? Okay, so yeah, it's just these people here, Biakuya and Toko and. Uh, a couple other people aren't here either, so that's kind of weird. Hey Makoto, those videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but what the hell, man? This is all one big lie. It has to be, huh? Hafumi. What was in your video, Hafumi? Me and my Before you go ask something else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Uh, why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. If they are see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. No, I didn't want to talk to him again. Okay, um, Taka. What was in your video, Taka? I, I saw... S sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How could something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't... To be able to do something like that, is it because they really are the murderous fiend? I mean, Kyoko is probably calm right now, but let's talk to Sakura first. Big buff lady who's actually, uh... Who's actually, um, a cool character. Uh, what was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. Whoa. Nah, that I'm sorry, that was deep, dude. Like, like, oh, I'm so... Like some narrator type shit. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? Kyoko. What was in your video, Kyoko? Why? Why should I tell you? Alright, I think that's uh, it. Unless I'm forgetting anyone, but I don't think I am, so let's leave. Where could she have gone? She kind of gone far. She check around the school. Where am I supposed to know where she would be, though? Oh, what, what does it say on the map, maybe? Wait, Owie's there? Leon's there? Everyone's there? I don't want to talk to absolutely everyone, though, so... Especially when, like, they, they probably don't offer much useful info. Like, where did she go anyways? Oh, <laughs> I just came here by a freak accident and here she was. That's convenient. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. See, this song is true despair. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. How about despair? There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Saika, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? What do, what do we do to end up like this? What are they doing? So, why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? Uh, okay, uh, that doesn't give you a reason for... The self-defense thing, though, a bit of a spoiler. So you could calm down. Because everyone else wanted to get out, too. So just because she wanted to get out, like, 
Doesn't mean she showed played Makoto and, and did that to Leon, man. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. To be fair, I would be freaking out in this situation as well, but like, every, but my point still stands. I understand. I know how you feel right now, and I think what, what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Like, at the end of the day, of course it's still all Monokuma's fault, but... Come on. Think about it. These video, those videos have to be fake. Because those things really had happened. People out there would be an, be an uproar. Or fam, our families, or our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. Damn, Makoto, you like some, like, poem, like, po uh, what are they called? Popes? I, I don't know, I don't study religion. Because religion is religion. And, uh, you don't talk about religion on a, ch on a channel with an edgy, uh, with a, with a person who thinks they're edgy teenage. Uh, <coughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, let's just continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And hell might even come before that. Come, boop, 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 boop. I'm never gonna stop that. I'm sorry, but I won't. But what if there is no way out? What if help never comes? Boop, 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 boop. If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Come on. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had to come over me. Oh, this. Please help me. Yay, finally, some dialogue I don't have to voice. Oh, I spoke too soon. Her what? Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big... <laughs> Makoto! Like... Makoto. <laughs> Ex exactly, that's what I said. Oh, but you said it in a different tone than I did. Can I, can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Uh, I mean, I guess Makoto did kind of phrase that wrong, but still, that doesn't give Sayaka the, like, to do the reason, uh, a reason to do what she did. Absolutely. Makoto. You're the only one I can trust, so please. No what happens, please always be See, why did they voice something? Huh? Of course I'll be there for you, cause I'm your ultimate simp. That that's my actual ultimate talent. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, I'm your I'm your ultimate simp. Thank you for for the money, Makoto. I I, I will give you feet uh, feet pics in exchange. Imagine if that's what they actually said. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I can get through this. Okay, whatever. No, he's just your simp. Hey. Yes, yes. As much as it gets old, the Monokuma boner joke. Uh, it, it's it, it will live for all of eternity. It's standing up. Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Did you, did you even have to ask? Your flagpole. Get the hell out of here. No, no, I want to join Jesus Christ. Damn it. Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Ah, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out on my proceed. I'm please. I, I, I don't want to get this video taken down. Please, Monokuma. Please, Monokuma. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. Even thrusty. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Go. Are you okay? Oh my god, what was that? If I had avoided, if I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. 
but boy are you slow, 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 slow. I could have done a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. What the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and destroyed the good mood we just created. Yeah, well, that's Monokuma for you. Get over it. Sayako and I headed back to our dorms. You should get some rest, Sayako. You still look pretty Sorry. shaken. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Like, my, Makoto's like a narrator. Like, I hate when the protagonists narrate like this. You're back in your room, yeah. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here. That what I saw in the video might be real. Monokuma, what the mastermind has in store for us. Or are, or are we, we uh, or are we our biggest problem? Yeah, you want to get out of here, like, mono, like, why does he monologue so much? I don't remember him. Actually, that's a lie. I do remember him monologuing this much. Okay, is this is this one, Sayaka? Ask to swap brooms? Yes, okay. Now, okay, we are gonna get to the first death in this episode. Thank God. I, I need some actual gameplay. When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Come, poop, poop, poop. It's Saika. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Okay, what? Why did you just end it? Why do I have to click on it? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It's so strange. S sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Mondo just punched me. What? No. J just a little while ago. Just a little while ago, I was lying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice, her voice sounded like all the air that squeezed out of your lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I'm so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. Pause. I, I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, but then I got up and opened the door to check in outside. But there was nobody there. Okay, why is she going like, Makoto? Someone tried to force the Someone tries to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I don't know, maybe like someone who wants to get out of here and kill or something? I don't know. What do you think? It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. But that's just a promise we made, right? And someone decided to break that promise. Then, why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? See, Monaco, uh, I don't, I doubt Makoto was originally thinking of the swap room thing. I think he was thinking in the same room. Which, I mean, uh, that just further proves that Makoto's just like a simp. All it says in school regulations is that we had to sleep in the door rooms, right? It didn't state spe specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... But two people sharing one room is, you know... Oh, oh geez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. I doubt that, Makoto. No, I know, me neither. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... I mean, you don't mind, can we maybe switch rooms? Just for tonight? See, that's how you know she's plotting some shit. Switch rooms? If it'll help your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me, but I don't mind staying, I don't mind staying in my room, but are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? What, you're gonna get some, uh, cum? 
over the bed sheets, buddy, or what? It's fine, I trust you. Okay, I make way too many, like, jokes because, like, the reason why is because it's just, the, like, talking. I need some uh, gameplay. Okay, it's nighttime. Yay! I'm just gonna skip those because it's the same every time. Oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, you better trade keys too. Ah, the ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Oh, good. Like I said, I'm sorry. How many times has she voiced that? Uh. Oh, hey, are you gonna say we were just kidding? What if I wasn't just? Uh, what if I wasn't just kidding? So, so the, was having a smile, made a way to face. That good is like she already started to get back to normal. Okay, like, oh my god. Yeah, the trading keys. They drag it out way too much. Um. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. May but maybe it's Dorkun from Persona 3. I'm sorry, I just had to throw that in there. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Saika. Hey, um... Oh, remember what I said before? Hmm? When I said I'm psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. I can't remember if she was actually a psychic. Or, or not. Uh, yeah, everyone's already asleep. Yup. It's like the exact same, but just, just pink stuff instead of red. Or blue, whatever the color was. I already forget. So this is Saika's room. It doesn't really look any different from mine. That's what I said. It smells nice, though. Oh, so, uh, yours doesn't? Why am I not surprised? So what do we have to do? Oh, examine stuff? Okay. Uh? That's... It wasn't it out. It was the DVD with her name on it we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video, but it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Uh, this. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find one in here, too. Uh, okay. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locked on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. A surveillance camera. It makes sense there'd be one in here. I want monocoins. Give me monocoins. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map, is the map of the body's vital organs. That'd be useful for me, Khan. Uh, in, in Danganronpa 2. Um, I don't think Sayaka would let me zoom around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lower myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragment developed me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe I'll bring, maybe it'll bring me some sweet drinks. Makoto is such a sim. He would definitely, uh, donate money to, uh, Sayaka if she was a Twitch streamer. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Monokuma Theater. Don't worry, guys. I'll keep this part going until we get to the death, because we need some, uh, action. Uh, pause. Imagine you're on a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. No. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about that ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... Even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're only really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog that we call Earth, 
Things are about to fall the rules. Hobo Man is all clear. Okay, I don't care, Monokuma. Morning announcement, yeah. It's the same thing every time. I sat up, still have to sleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was inside the room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I'd better get going. Yeah, this oast. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. Yeah, I could definitely see that. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Sorry I'm late, my makeup would just not cooperate this morning. My apologies ladies and gentlemen, my morning uh, duty took a little longer than usual. Is he referring to uh, uh, something to do with white things or something to do with uh, a little more uh, safe um, alternative? I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. We're the, t we're the type of the more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. I suppose I'm late. Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? It's, uh, it's so awful to be late. I didn't know. I, I, what was that voice? What? I didn't know we sleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But the super late one's Byakuya, because he's not here yet. Oh, neither is Sayaka, either. Hmm. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Wait, are we still missing some people? Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high school category. So for her to be so late. What's going on? Did something happen? Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Did she forget about our breakfast promise? I get the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside me, and that speck started to grow quickly. I need, to, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, oh shoot, baby, it's finally time. Are you ready for the first death of the game? Let's take a look it's inside. Oh shit. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Deadly life now, boys. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? 
Now's the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Ah! Um. Hey, are, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw, it was real? That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out here? If you go out there? What good is it? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. I'm not even gonna make a joke now. Well, hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But, so... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. He's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates the school get regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. I'm famous in safari parks throughout the world for following the bare times one rule. Then who did it? Who killed her? You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka. Don't be stupid, that's... Huh? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you. He killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did, who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Look, the guy looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... are, are you serious? S -s someone some someone killed someone? It's amazing what some people are capable of. Hey, hold on. Don't assume he's telling the truth. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the, stu with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz. Naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. Yeah, it's if they're discovered. 
Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So, a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And May and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. So, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Oh, well, to put it simply, it's execution. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean... So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die, but if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Wait, hold on a second. You're forgetting saying, you know that? Huh? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? Uh, what? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. <laughs> what? Punishment? I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. Do whatever you, say whatever you want. I'm not going to be part of this. I don't, don't be so shelfish. You're, you're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. The, the evil standing before me, I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said, as he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle, but then... Oh, shit. Are you enjoying yourself now? Oh shit, you guys weren't expecting this, were you? Second death already. Two deaths in one episode. This wasn't supposed to lie to me. Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. What the? I don't... This can't be real. No way! Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a card from popping up for no good reason, you know? But I guess we all need to be taught a lesson, after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right?
Oh, we're already at 35 minutes? Uh, alright, so we're gonna call this part here. Uh, okay, hold on. No, no, no. Uh, square. Okay, guys, so that's gonna do it for uh, this part of Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, yeah, two deaths in one episode. Ain't that something? So, in the next episode, uh, we will uh, begin the investigation. So, uh, see you then.